All right, today we're going over my favorite dumbbell exercises for legs. Also throwing abs, just for the hell of it. So if you're ready, untuck that bad boy and let's get after it. All right, we're starting off with quads. Now, no matter what my limitations are, the goal is always the same. I want to manipulate whatever exercise I'm doing, even if it's just slightly, to put more of that tension onto the quadriceps. So when it comes to dumbbells, your best bet is either a split stand squat or this front squat variation, because just inherently how you have to hold those dumbbells, it's gonna cause you to tilt forward and drive more of that pressure into those quads. And then from there, you should be trying to figure out how much you can push that form even further to get even more out of the movement, meaning how close can you walk those feet together and still maintain driving from your heels. And just like any quad movement, it's best to take the top out of it, removing your ability to rest. And it's easy to find. Just go up to that point where it's the most painful, stop for a second and go back down. You're on the right track when you're talking to people on camera. It looks like you're doing okay, but you're actually peeing a little bit of blood. I came from the mud. There's dirt on my hands. Strong like a tree. There's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. So recently for hamstrings, I've been doing a lot of high rep, dumbbell, stiff leg deadlifts, but there's a distinction we gotta make because there's a huge difference between these and these. And that has to do with actively working against those dumbbells and how you shift your weight as you contract up. So instead of having those dumbbells follow a traditional path, which is straight down, you're gonna drive them out in front of you on an arc. And what that's gonna force you to do is drive those hips back, but most importantly, put more of an intense stretch on those hamstrings. This is what makes all the difference. Now, as you start to contract up, you're gonna shift that weight into your toes, feel like you're falling forward, but you're gonna use those toes to grip the floor, and because you're standing up, it's gonna keep you balanced, and you're gonna create a more intense contraction on those hamstrings. This glute exercise is so tough that you don't even need a dumbbell. You can kick your own ass with just body weight alone, but because it's us and we're sick, we're gonna use one. So what you're gonna do is grab onto something and do a reverse lunge and keep that back foot off the ground the entire time. And your goal should be to make more of the movement happen in your hips. You can do that by leaning forward during the negative, putting more stress on that glute, and as you come back, lean back, flex, engage, and squeeze that glute on the way up. When it rains, it pours. Water's up to my chin. When you start talking about hitting calves with dumbbells, people get a little touchy. They think there's no way to hit them better than you can with machines, but hear me out on this one. Now, if you're sitting there just bouncing a dumbbell off your knee, looking like you're getting ready to get interviewed by Chris Hansen, yeah, it's not gonna work that well. But if you sink down, it completely changes the movement. That calf is already in an extreme stress position. That off leg is gonna be off the ground, so there's more weight on that calf. It makes this 30 feel like 100. And on top of that, your hamstring is sitting right on top of that calf, so you have to contract against it. it makes the contraction that much worse. So you can pretty much throw a dumbbell into any ab exercise to spice it up and make it that much harder. But since we hit legs today, might as well show you one of my favorite knee raise variations because it's also gonna hit those hip flexors, which most people neglect. So instead of just sitting there waiting for that lower body to come to me, I want as much activation out of those abs as possible. So I'm gonna crunch into the movement, but I also don't want it to feel like a static contraction. Anytime it's like that with abs, I usually don't do them. So I wanna get a little bit more movement and try to stretch those upper abs by tilting that upper body back during the negative, let them stretch, and then crunch back into it. Hope they won't shoot me down. If you haven't seen the upper body version of this, I'll link to it here. Also, just another one of my favorites that's dumbbell only. But most importantly, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, and get after it, get growing. I'll talk to you soon. Hope you're fine.